Welcome back, everybody. Here on top of the hill now at the fish farm. Uh, Bob Calvert, your host. I'm talking with heroes.com. And we're here in Pangaea Province with the Agricultural Development Team, mostly from the Kentucky National Guard. And an uh, award has been made to expand this fish farm. You saw it in the previous video of the actual fish farm that exists here. And now there's been some footballs being handed out. You can see here by the troops. You can see Sergeant Vanell throwing the ball with the kids, handing out some little frog. Ball, an alligator. From what I understand, we have to see the box there, priority mailbox. Somebody back in America sent these supplies to here to our troops, and here's what they're doing with some of them, giving them to the young people here in Afghanistan. This is the future of Afghanistan. Hey, the young people. Here, show a picture. In it, on for, for the lady in America. Ask them. In it. All right. Yeah. Here with that. And you're seeing it here on TalkingWithHeroes.com in Panjir province in Afghanistan. Take a picture. Here, uh, right here. Is that what I think it is? Oh, man, I didn't know that was a box. Here we go. There was more children here earlier. I didn't even pay attention. Uh, Bob, I've done something to your camera here. I don't know what I've done. Oh, it's working, but it's like it's on a steel You have to push it. Maybe yeah. make your claws again. There we go. We got a sneaky ass. Oh, actually. We're taking still pictures for me so I can put more pictures on our Facebook page. Yeah, we need more pictures. More pictures. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this is just a little example, folks, of what the difference you all make that are sending care packages to Iraq and Afghanistan. Okay, I tell you, tell me I need to share. <laughs> we have a picture being taken for his six-year-old son back home. Squeaky. Squeaky. Okay, I got one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Smile. smile. Squeaky loves Afghanistan. Okay, say, say hi to your son now. <laughs> hi, David. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Tyler. But hi, David. There's Squeaky. Look. <laughs> Did he send that? Oh, oh he, yeah, he, he sent it to me and said I had tried to bring it to Afghanistan. Wow. Excellent. And he told me not to lose it, no matter what. Okay. That was it, that was it. So I take pictures of him everywhere in Afghanistan. My six-year-old son. Locked up. He likes it. Hey. Okay. Um, if you could ask them if they have a message they'd like to say yeah, to I told the American her. people. Yeah, okay, go ahead. خصوصاً <laughs> I want to say thank you from all the Americans, people, especially the helpers in uh, this tries and uh, fight against of the Taliban and Al Qaeda. And all the time they try to help us. And I want to say thank you from the PRT and also ADT team, agriculture development teams. Thank you to help us in the first world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you, Mr. Now we're going to hear from the Agriculture Development Team as we get ready to leave this site. Go ahead, sir, introduce yourself. I'm Staff Sergeant Hancock, Kentucky Army National Guard, here on the Kentucky Agribusiness Team. Okay, where are you from? Monticello, Kentucky. Okay, would you like to give a shout out to family and friends back home? Uh, yes, I want to give a shout out to my wife and my two sons. I miss you and I love you guys. Can't wait to see you on Christmas. Okay, if you could say something about care packages and letters, what it means to you, we're obviously seeing 
Somebody sent these from America. Care packages mean a lot. It's, there's nothing like getting mail once every two weeks and receiving some kind of package from back home. From, from friends, family, and then from strangers. It's just a great feeling when you just have somebody that feels for you. Okay. If you could reintroduce yourself, sir. Yeah, I'm Where are you uh, from? Major Fred Bates from uh, Shelbyville, Kentucky, here with uh, Kentucky ADT. Okay, and uh, where are you from again? Uh, from Shelbyville, Kentucky. Shelbyville, Kentucky. I've been in the Army National Guard for 21 plus years. Okay, and uh, real quick, if you don't mind, because I know you have to leave, if you could share with us about care packages and letters. We've seen a little bit, obviously, yeah. what's here came from somebody back home. Yeah, uh, got some of that from care packages, but also we get stuff from, uh, there's a couple of different groups. I think we were talking about um, soldiers, uh, uh, Angels. Soldiers, Soldiers Angels. Angels that do, um, and then there's some of my friends back home do it. And yep. I want to thank Black Hawk because I'm wearing some of your boots. Good boots. I like them, Black Hawk. They're the best boots I've ever worn. Thanks for uh, bringing Mr. Calvert over here and all the other sponsors that helped him be here. That's that's cool of you to do. We were Good also to get talking, the soldier story out. Yeah, we were also talking about a group in Kentucky, Military Missions. Yep, Military Missions, which is right in Kentucky. They do uh, some good work, so we appreciate it. Thank you for sending stuff to the troops. Okay, the troops like, really appreciate it. Great. Would you like to give a shout-out to family and friends back uh, home? Say hi to Beth and all three of my boys, Andrew, Tyler, and David, and to all my family and Beth's family back in Kentucky, Illinois, and Virginia. Great. Thank you, Thank sir. you. Go ahead, you can pass the mic. Here, let me put, hold it for you, Tom. Let me put this. It'll take you two seconds. Okay. Back I'll put your shade. camera back in the... Okay. Okay, you can introduce yourself again, rank the full name, where you're from, and how long you've served. Take off your sunglasses. <laughs> Uh-oh. Can't be a movie star with sunglasses. Yeah. Go ahead. Here comes the car. Hold the mic up. Name is Sergeant Jordan Glenn Pinnell from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, I'm security force for the Agriculture Business Development Team here at PRT, called Bob Line. How long have you served? Served in the Army National Guard for 12 years now. Kentucky? Kentucky. Okay. And talk about care packages and letters. Obviously, we've seen what it means when you hand stuff sent from home to the kids. We, uh, we get care packages in for the kids around, around Afghanistan in our Panjshir Valley. They, in my opinion, they enjoy them, they love them, and uh, we also get care packages for ourselves. And what we don't use, we give to the Afghan people. And it's all around a great idea. Soldiers uh, for angel, angels and uh, military missions, two great, uh, two great businesses or nonprofit organizations that are put together for this, for care packages. Also, you know, Afghan kids, as you all see today, love getting things from American soldiers and from America. Okay. Why don't you give a shout out to family and friends back home? I know you did it earlier, but I don't think you want to do it again. Uh, <laughs> I was ahead of my wife, Laura, my four-year-old Alec, my two-year-old Jaden, and my mother, my dad, and my stepmom, and the uh, rest of my family back home. I love y'all, and I'll be home before you know it. So. Thank you. Thank you for your Take service. care. Uh, Colonel Caston. He ran again. Did he? Oh, yeah, you're done? You're done, then. Oh, yeah, let's get him. I just want to get them, too, over here. Let's walk over here. Let's get him first. You can reintroduce yourself, uh, rank, name, where you're from, how long you served. Sure. I'm Lieutenant Jeffrey Casta from London, Kentucky. I've been in uh, in the United States Army, both active and National Guard, for over 27 years. Okay, and you're part of the, uh, obviously, the agriculture? I'm part of the Kentucky Agribusiness Development Team. Uh, we're the second team from Kentucky. Kentucky uh, has already sent one team, and they've redeployed. We took over for them. Uh, there's another team that's actually uh, being trained right now to come to Afghanistan. Uh, and then after that, I know that the state is actually looking uh, at maybe more agribusiness development teams. And, uh, of course, Kentucky's not the only state in the union that's actually providing them. I know that there's uh, several states that have actually done that and really contributed uh, to helping uh, Afghans uh, do better with agriculture. You're all definitely making a difference. Talk about care packages and letters, and then go ahead and give a shout out uh, to family gosh, and friends. Uh, people have been uh, so uh, so nice, uh, so wonderful to us uh, in sending care packages. I'd like to especially thank uh, the folks in Somerset, Kentucky, at the 
GE Glass Company. Uh, they have, they, every time that we get mail, they have always uh, had a package in there for myself and Sergeant Hancock, and we're real appreciative of that. Also, uh, GE Aviation out of Glendale, Ohio has been really super nice to us and sending us care packages, and we appreciate that. Of course, all our loved ones and uh, folks back in Kentucky, we're, we're certainly appreciative of the support that they have given us. Why don't you give a shout out to them? Uh, I'd like to say hello to my wife, Mary Lou, to my children, Emily, uh, Sam, and Will, uh, back in London, Kentucky. Uh, I'd like to wish them well. To my parents uh, in Bronson, Kentucky, uh, in Pulaski County. Mike, you're next, man. Oh, I did a shout out already. Are you did it, Holly? Yes. You have to go. Yeah, we got to okay, go. Okay, well, these are the other two. We've talked to them earlier. We're, we're getting more children out of the okay. woodwork, so we got to. Start. All right. Well, folks, we're gonna we've completed another mission here. I'm talking with Harris.com in Afghanistan. Help us get the word out about these videos to as many people as you can. We'll be back with more. And by Calvert, your host. God bless you. God bless America.